Hey folks, welcome back to Ed's Garage. Today, I wanna to fix a little bit of a hiccup with my wireless Android Auto dongle. As you already probably know, the Ionic 6 does not have wireless Android Auto, nor does a lot of other Hyundai products. Uh, anything with navigation, unfortunately, doesn't have wireless Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So I bought a wireless Android Auto dongle, which uh, if you haven't already checked out my review video of that, please do so. Uh, it's in the link below in the description. Um, but one of the annoying little problems is that because the USB port that it connects to is constantly powered, the wireless Android Auto dongle never actually lets go of the wireless connection to your phone. So when you get out of your car and go to your house, it stays connected. It's kind of annoying. So I had to basically come up with a way to make it shut off when the car shut off. So essentially what I'm going to do is make a wire that actually plugs in or connects to a switched power supply, uh, generally the 12 volt port underneath the console. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All right, so let's get started. All right, in order to explain properly how to do this, I've already actually done it, and now I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, so you're going to want to use proper plastic pry tools, okay? Nothing else but proper plastic pry tools. And you're going to start by removing the base at this end here, and you just kind of peel it up uh, right on the edge there, and you can see it's held in by clips. I'll pull it out from the other side here. And you just kind of pull it up and make your way along to the back and then take that out. So once you've got all those clips removed, it should come out fairly easily. I'll show you where all the clips are here real quick. There they all are, and then two near the back. And as you can see, the very back end kind of slots in. So starting at your front, front and working way to the back. All right, so that is that part, part. Being careful, of course, not to scratch everything. All right, so next thing is the actual plug panel. And for that, you wanna start along the bottom here and kind of pull, pull this up a bit first because there's two clips underneath. As you can see, there's one on the right and one on the left. And unfortunately, while pulling this off, I did snap a clip off. I'll show you what I mean here. So you pull that off a little bit, and then you got to try to get the, pl the plastic pry tools in along the sides to pull out this way. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like now. So there you can see all of the plastic clips holding that in. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, that one snapped off on me. So I'm going to have to glue that back on. So I've kept the clip. I managed to get it back in, or managed to get it removed, and I'll just JB weld that back into place. Not a huge deal. Um, so yeah, the blue ones are really difficult to pull out. The black ones are actually pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, as you're pulling that off, the other thing to note is, of course, the wire that connects to the 12 volt outlet, and that's this guy right here. A little bit tricky to get unplugged, but uh, basically what I what I noticed was this guy right here, you just kind of push that in and you should be able to unplug it. And then there's our 12 volts. So now we can tap into that and use that. All right, next I've gone ahead and removed this panel from the bottom down here. Um, it's really simple. Basically, it sits kind of right here and you just kind of push in these little guys here and it drops down and then you can just slide it out and that gives you access to some space down here that you can tuck stuff up. All right, in the next segment of the video, I forgot to actually explain that the wireless Android Auto dongle is going to be pulling power, it's going to be piggybacking power from the dash cam uh, circuit board plug thing that normally plugs into that uh, 12 volt power outlet. So because I'm going to be hardwiring the dash cam, I figured I may as well use the existing USB port on that to also turn on and off the uh, wireless Android Auto dongle. So the little circuit board you're about to see next comes from the wireless, wireless, sorry, comes from the dash cam plug-in power supply. What we're going to do next is basically solder some wires onto this. This is the plug-in for the um, for the dash cam. So we're just going to solder some wires directly on there, and then those wires will go uh, to the 12 volt port there. So. All right, got some wires soldered to the old plug. So now I can wrap this all up and then tuck it up on there to the dash there so that it's not touching anything. And then I'll run these wires 
to uh, this plug over here so that the dash cam will constantly get power. And also the wireless Android Auto adapter will run from there down into there as well and plug into that. All right, so here's what the wiring is going to look like. The wireless adapter is going to plug into this little guy right here. It's just, just the end of an extension cord for USB. The data connections, the green and white wire, they're going to go into this right here, which is going to go into the car's uh, Android Auto, uh, basically the uplink port, the USB port that's near the wireless charger. This one is going to go to the, um, the little adapter that we we're installing underneath the dash, and we're only going to use the red and black wire, so that's the, uh, the 5 volt connection, and we're going to discard the data wires. So it's going to get power from the switched power supply that is also providing power to the dash cam, and it's going to get data from, of course, the data plug. In case you're wondering what type of connectors I'm using here, uh, these are super cool and very, very handy for this type of thing. Um, they're shrink tubing with a tiny bit of solder right in the center, and the little white bits there, they actually kind of melt around to form a really nice seal. Uh, so you got to use a lighter or a heat gun and just very, very carefully um, heat that up until you see the solder melt in. And this is just a great way to do it because it kind of gives you a really nice solid connection, uh, especially considering it's uh, being soldered on. Uh, you'll notice that some lighters do leave a lot more soot than others. So this lighter is really, really nice for this because it doesn't leave a whole bunch of soot. Like the first lighter that I used, one of these Bic lighters, it left a whole bunch of soot on that one there. Uh, but as you can see now, it's uh, it's melted that solder in there, so that's a really, really nice solid connection. I will say this though, these are real pain. It's like threading the needle, and if your eyesight's not spectacular, it's not super easy to get the wire in there. Um, reason being is because you don't really want to twist pair of the wires, because if you twist these up, um, they're not going to solder as nicely together. You want to leave them frayed, um, and then when you get them inside, you kind of force the frays together right in that little solder point. All right, so what I've done here is I've mounted the wireless Android Auto dongle right there, just far enough back that if I bend down a bit, I can see the light, the connection light. Got the uh, plug-in right here, and I got most of the wire covered up by my lucky cat. Um, but yeah, obviously that's always going to be there, but not really much I can do about that. Uh, there's still plenty of room to put the phone in here for charging. Um, it's a little. I could probably move that out of the way if I. Oops, I could probably move that out of the way if I need to, um, but I think it'll be all right. Now I'm just kind of tucking the wire into the void here, and uh, it'll be able to go in behind this guy here, and then of course meet up with my now completely covered up USB port. Okay, so a little bit of wiring down here, but of course you can't see that, and I've got that tucked up and zip tie it up there so usb ports plugged in now i just gotta connect it all up down here but first i'm gonna put the little bottom cover back on that's this piece here and uh, that's uh, pretty easy just clips in there and then like that pretty simple the funny thing is that i didn't really even need to move that but it gave it a little bit extra space so uh, yeah, this is all tucked up pretty nicely, and um, now, yeah, I just got to connect this up. All right, so as you can see, I have three wires connected to each part of the 12-volt um, socket uh, connection here. One, of course, is going to the ambient light that I've installed. One is going to the socket, of course, so I've got uh, two connectors ready to go for that. And then, of course, one is going to the power for the dash cam, which will, of course, also power the Android Auto uh, device. So, I'm going to turn this on, and if my lights come on, it should be working. Yep, there we go. Ambient lighting's on. Dash cam just powered up. And my light is on for the Android Auto. I shut the car off. And everything's off. Perfect. So it's all working. Now I'm just going to tape the heck out of this, make sure it's safe, and then I can put everything back together. All right. So as you can see, everything is nice and buttoned up. Can't see any wires. Everything's tucked away. 
I think the only wire you can see is just this little bit right here. Um, yeah, everything's looking great. So we're going to go ahead and try this with my wife's phone. Um, it was already connected to the uh, Android Auto dongle at one point, so it should just reconnect. The camera that I'm using is actually on my phone right now, uh, so I can't show you the wireless Android or the sorry the wireless charging uh, functioning because well the only phone I have that does that is the one that I'm using to record. All right, so let's fire up the car and see if it connects. So we should see this change to phone or to Android Auto, and it does take a bit. Only because it has to disconnect from like the house Wi-Fi and has to connect to the Bluetooth and then Bluetooth has to, or the smart box has to tell it to connect to Wi-Fi, etc. Oh, there we go. Okay, it looks like it's going to start playing music here unless I turn it down. And there we go. Completely wireless Android Auto. And uh, it shuts off <laughs> by itself, which is kind of nice. So no worries about uh, needing to turn off the um, the or unplug the wireless Android Auto box or anything like that it now is completely disconnected as you can see there is no more connection light on the uh, on the box there all right well I hope this uh, video helped you guys out uh, if you have any questions comments or concerns please don't hesitate to leave them below uh, don't forget to check the description below for the uh, review that I did on the Android Auto wireless adapter box thing uh, it was super cheap. It was only 50 bucks. So unfortunately it just doesn't know when the car is on or off if the USB port stays energized. So that's why I had to make this little wire to um, kind of trick it into doing that. But at the same time, I was able to hide the wiring from my dash cam, which is something I wanted to do anyway. So yeah, again, if you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for future videos. But thank you so much for watching guys. I know this video was uh, short and sweet, but it's all it needed for that one. So, all right, have a great day. Take care.